time. I hope so. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. All right, thanks, Kiki, and we are back with more hot robot action. Yep, just to update that last fight, it was a 19 to 14 decision, so a pretty close fight between Who's Your Daddy now and Stewart. That yeah, figured, but this time we have heavyweight action. Nice 220-pound combat rotation. I'm really conflicted over this one, I really am, because I'm friends with both teams. You've got Jerry, Bo Jerry Book and Echo 2.0. Brand new robot, they had Echo last year. They only lost to the bronze and silver medalists. Had a two by two, had a two two record, obviously. And their opponents from the University of Texas Arlington in the blue square, Cavalier. And that is a unique robot right there. Yeah, brand new robot uh, from the team at the U UT uh, Arlington. Yeah, they used to fight with Thunderstruck back in the day, back in middleweights, but this was their attempt to go big and not go home, hopefully. They've got two spinning discs at the front. They're counter-rotating. They've got a lifting arm at the top. Well, or not at this point. I can't really tell. But is it missing? I don't think it's there. Oh, shoot. Well, they're, they're screwed if that thing gets flipped over. They do have a very innovative design in that they can switch between conventional drive and omni-wheel drive. There's like a, a pneumatic ram in each side, and it can actuate to lower the omni wheels down so that the robot can actually strafe around its opponent. I mean, if you want to talk about the future of combat robotics, this is, well, we'll see whether mechanum wheels are really the future. Looks like they're starting off with the mechanum wheels down. So Cavalier in the blue square is ready. Echo 2.0 in the red square getting tested right now. And we're going to start in four, three, two, one fight. It's time for the bots to battle as well. Echo 2.0 immediately tears a piece oh. off of Cavalier and Cavalier is not moving. Well. Echo 2.0 revving up the weapon. Making sorry, a lot Aviana. of noise. Sorry, Aviana. The wheels are spinning on Cavalier, but it's not going anywhere and the count out is finished. And it's over, ladies and gentlemen. Your winner by knockout. Echo! Go! 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 2.0. 2.0! Oh! Oh! Well, that was pretty anticlimactic. Yeah, one, one hit knocked Cavalier off uh, enough. I could see the wheels moving. They were trying to move, but they, I don't know what, they, uh, what happened to them that they couldn't touch the ground. I don't know either, honestly. It could have been they were stuck in Omni Drive and the hit knocked the. More than likely, the hit knocked the pneumatic rams out, so the Omni Drive wheels weren't able to touch the ground. But we'll find out when Kiki interviews them. Exactly. Before that happens, we have to get in the arena, turn off the robots, make sure they're safe. Cover those weapons back up, lock them into place. Safety is always of the utmost importance here at Robo Games. You've seen what these uh, robots are capable of doing to large chunks of metal. You don't want to imagine what they could do to a fleshy human body. I see two people over with Dr. Kiki. Dr. Kiki, who do you have? All right, can you tell me your name? Uh, I'm Brian Bray. And I'm Aviana Nothel. And what happened there? You got knocked, and then what, what happened? Yeah, so we had some issues with the drive, so we had thought we'd locked it down in place, but uh, it slipped out, and we just got high-centered on ourselves. We basically have ran out of time right here at the end because we're graduating seniors trying to get through college, and it just piled up to the point where we didn't have time to charge the pneumatics correctly, and one thing led to another, and we're dead in the water. Do you think this is something that you can go back and tinker with before yeah. your ne next match and see if you can fix it up? 
Yeah, I think we can. Uh, we, we can just basically get the system running the way we wanted it to run, and hopefully it'll, uh, it'll get going. It's going to pretty much entirely depend on how much time we get before the next match. If we have enough time, absolutely, but we're fighting against the gods of the universe, you know? <laughs> we're all fighting against the, 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 the flow of time. All right. Yeah. That's right. Well, you guys, I wish you'd gotten a bigger, better match in there. I'm looking forward to the next one. Hopefully you'll get it that time. Yeah, we sure do as well. Yeah, it's, it's always tough being the rookies, but I think we'll get it. Thank you. You will. Good. I should point out that we are in the heavyweight bracket right now, the 220-pound robots. That's what we're going to be for the next few fights. This is the largest, heaviest weight class here at Robo Games. Yeah, they, they used to run the old 340-pound super heavyweights, but those just became uneconomical for people to run. Yeah, people just stopped building them, and the weight class just kind of died out a natural death. Yeah, although, to, to be fair, the dying years of the super heavyweight class did give us Ziggy. Yes, I mean, and Ziggy pretty much